Hi, I'm Gabi Neura and welcome to session 4 of Tsukiyo Start on a Saddle. Uh, today's objective is to introduce a cinch, but first, before I do this step, I want to be sure that he can be with me and connected and calm and not worried about his friend. Because, you know, um, always follow the principle, introduce one thing at a time, one learning at a time. And if he is really worried about his friend and not really with me, if then add the sensation of the cinch, chances that I have reactions such as bucking and stuff are just way higher. Huh, Tokyo? Okay, I'll let him at liberty first. No good boy. No. All right, once you follow right away, that's really great. Huh? Tokyo. Hey. Good guy. Huh? Yes. So if you want to connect right away, that is really awesome. <laughs> it is perfect. Huh? Just wanna see, can I touch him everywhere? No. Can he stay connected? Good oh, guy. Huh? Yes. Good boy. Super. Can we heal the hindquarters? Draw. Good boy. Can you take? Oh, not. I want him to touch my hand. Good boy. Stick behind my back. They don't send any accidental messages. Good boy. There, yes. So I want him to come and touch my hand like a target. Good guy. See if I can do it again. <gasps> Yo. Good guy. No. He kind of lost a bit focus. Yes. Super. Now I want to connect again. Yes. There we go. Good boy, huh? Very nice. Super. Good guy. Yes. So he, he seems to be a horse. He actually really likes human contact. It just took a while until he realized <laughs> he can also feel safe with me and not just his owner. You're a good boy, huh? But. Good boy. Yes, don't push on me, don't be so close. It's me who defines uh, the boundaries, what I'm comfortable with and what not. Yeah, he can lose his focus. Call him back. Good boy. Good guy. Yes. Huh? Good boy. Good guy. Mm. Super. So he's a bit skeptical about this. You see he's backing up. So I back up as well. So oh, not a big deal. Just retreat a bit. And we try again. There. That's a bit close, buddy. <laughs> so thank you. Good boy. Super. Very nice. Good boy. Oh. Yes, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Good boy. Oh. That's a good boy. 
super. Huh? Very nice. So, now before I put on the cinch, I want to check that we can circle a trodden canter. Yep. <laughs> I want to... So before I put on the cinch, I want to see that I have sufficient uh, communication about the gates, the trot, canter, uh, because also there, if I ask him to canter without the cinch and, and the horse box and stuff, because he's kind of a bit resistant against my request to canter, or emotion because of whatever reason, but then at the cinch, it's gonna multiply. So this is my status quo. Uh -uh. Stay out now. Had a bit of resistance there, even from the hills, my direction. <laughs> so I want to have canter transitions without this, obviously. Yeah, yeah good boy. <laughs> Still a bit. <laughs> Let's see if we can drive him. Imagine he's a bubble. And I push the bubble with my stick forward. Always maintaining the same distance behind him. If he slows down, I will start to move the stick. There. That was good. There, good boy. Yes, that's it. And as he's been doing really a really good job, I reward him. Yep. Yes. Here we go. Uh -huh. See if he can get his attention on me. Rather than out the window. Yep. Good boy. Yes. Super. There we go. Good boy. Music. You remember his friend for a moment? Come. That's okay. It's the first time this session that he remembers his friend and really disconnects. And that is absolutely okay. I was already surprised it didn't start out like this. Right, let's change direction. Nope. Now we stay out of it. Stay out. I don't want him to develop the habit. Canter and right away come to the middle. But to really uh, read my intention, body language. And yep. Good boy. Yes, super. Good guy. Super. And yes, very good. Drive one lap. Push the soap bubble. If he slows down, the distance between me and his bubble, no, it's the mystic and his bubble will go smaller. 
Good boy. So this shows me, does he allow me to drive him? Good boy, yes. That was very good. Yeah, huh? Very good. Good boy. It's a bit close. Very good. Thank you. Huh? Good boy. Super. <coughs> good boy. Huh? Can you follow me? Good boy. Super. Yep, follow me. Good guy. Can we stop together? Yes, good boy. Huh? Super. Come. Good boy. Good guy. So today on the follow me exercise, I'm going to the next step. Um, the last, well, last session was just about him following me somehow. <laughs> and now I'm starting to ask a little bit that he really follows head on my shoulder, that he uh, focuses a bit better on me. See if we can stop together. Good boy, huh? Good boy. See if you can change direction. Good guy. Yes. Super. Come. Yes, good boy. On the right is a bit more insecure. So I have to pay really attention. Yes. Be careful. Good boy. And when he drifts away like this, oops. And he drifts away, not to walk towards him, but more away from him. Yeah, huh? Good guy. Yep. Yeah. Start off on the easy side. Good boy. Good guy. Draw. Good guy. See if he can come on my left. No. Come. Good. Do this. Here. Good boy, huh? Right side is touchy, huh? Good boy. Yeah, it always puts many to the left. Good boy. Well, this will be a topic for another day. He's just not as confident on his right and on his left. Good boy. So, I'm not going to fix this in this one session. Good boy. I'm just gonna um, now always make sure when I reward him, I go on his right side. Oh, good guy. Super. Okay, huh? I'm gonna put on the halt the lead rope. Come. Yeah, there's something. Good, just reconnect. Good boy. Yep. Good guy. 
Stop. Come. Good boy. All right. Now let's put on the holder. Yeah, good boy. All right. Yeah, good boy. So, when I introduce a cinch to a horse, I always think about, okay, what communication do I need to help the horse to find relaxation? And ingredient number one, of course, is to have connection. That the horse is with me. What I made sure that he can connect to me at liberty. They can follow me. Yeah. Now then, the second thing I really want to have is a good disengage. That the horse really bends the whole body and crosses the hind legs evenly. Because this allows me to help the horse relax and to evacuate tension. Maybe accumulated, not your shoulder, maybe accumulated from the cinch. Good boy. So and what I want to see is not that the horse fixes one front leg and then pivots around it. I want to see that the horse keeps stepping in small steps but inside front leg just a little bit away from me. It bends really around my bubble uh, and stays balanced through the movement. Yeah? And I like to initiate this out of a forward walk, just a little bit. Take the lead rope, lift it a bit up. Get stuck. Mm -hmm. Not gonna use my stick for that. It's a bit too close range. It's a bit clumsy. Yeah. Good. I use the end of my rope. I wanted to ah uh, that he really keeps stepping with all four feet and not throw his weight in the inside shoulder. And crowd me. <laughs> yes. Good boy. Your shoulder. Yes, good boy. There. 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 Yes, good boy. Huh? So there I also think about the balance I'm looking for when riding. I don't want to have a horse that really falls on that inside shoulder and blocks the inside shoulder. I want to have a horse who knows how to balance and stay balanced between the shoulders. Come. Come. Uh -uh. That leg, yes. Come. Come. Yep, be very clear about, do not even think about running over me. Good, good, good. Good, good. Come, don't get stuck. Yep. Good. Come, shoulder. Yep. There. There. Up. Yep. Oh, 
I'll do three steps. One, two, one, two. Yep. One, two, three steps so it does not get stuck anywhere. Eh. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. Yes. Yeah. If I ask you something, I would like to have an answer. Yes. Yep. Good boy. Yes. Good. So with this exercise, he really needs to feel for the halt as well. Uh, not push forward through the halter here, not push out to the side, really stay in the halter and allow me to control his head and nose to have this bend. Huh? And at the same time he needs to coordinate his legs, he needs to uh, balance himself really clearly and find his coordination. Um, so it's a really super beneficial exercise to get the horse's focus, get him thinking about his balance and at the same time dissipate tension in case the horse is tensed. Huh? Yes. Now to the other side. Yep. yep. Not run forward. Yep. Good. 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 Come. Very nice. Good boy. Huh? That was good. Yes. And I think it is so hard for him. Um, well, the left side was so hard for him. He always did kind of two steps and then he looked towards the outside. Got distracted, lost focus, had the feeling he has to check the environment. And um, so this is the hard part for him to really stay focused. Yes, good boy. Yep. Good. Your shoulder body. Yes. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good guy. Yep. Very good. Yeah, good guy. That was very nice, huh? Stay there. Yes, good boy. Yeah. So he has, um, in the first few sessions, we have seen that he has a big tendency that when he gets worried, he pushes on the person with the shoulder. And he's big. <laughs> so this is potentially uh, dangerous. Good. Good boy. Very nice. Good guy, huh? Okay, now let's get the, the pad and the cinch. Yes, you have some flies on your back. Okay. Good. 
Don't run over me. Yes. Huh? Good boy. Good boy. So he kind of comes towards me. I want him to get curious about the path, but he kind of keeps walking <laughs> through me when I invite him to come and look. So this is why I make some energy. Say, hey, don't do this. Yeah. To get his attention. Uh -huh. Okay. So first, I'm um, going to practice the placement of the pad. Good boy. Oh, prepare him with rubbing over his back. And just swing it on and off a few times. Good boy. Huh? Super. So um, when we get a youngster used to the saddle or the bareback pad or the cinch, um, the scary thing is usually not the saddle. It is the sensation of the cinch because it triggers a horse's uh, claustrophobia and you're a good boy, huh? Until we cinch up the horse, we do not know how much innate reactivity the horse has in there. Huh? Make sure you show him. There, good boy. Huh? Good guy. Will you want him to see? Yeah. So, and when introducing, well, the cinch or the saddle, I'm always thinking, okay, how can I divide this in steps so it's easy for the horse? And uh, first, just it's just about the cinch. Good boy, huh? Good guy. It's not about the whole saddle. Huh? It goes off again. Because if I put right away the whole saddle, I also have the flaps who move. I have a visual stimulus, maybe some noise, maybe the stirrups if, I ha it's, a, if it's a western saddle. And if I just use a, 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 an elastic, uh, no, a lunging sore single or a bareback pad like this, I have just the sensation of the cinch. And this way I can isolate all the different learning experiences. Huh? Yes. Good boy, huh? And see, he's a more insecure type. You see, I'm repeating the step of placement of the pad, taking down the cinch on the other side. Now, rub the sternum to prepare him for the sensation. Catch the cinch. Just hold it against the belly. I'm not going to cinch up hard right away. Just snug so it won't. Turn and, and slide under the belly. Good boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I still have here, I can put my hand in here. He just feels it now on his skin. Just let him feel it. Good guy, huh? Good boy, yeah, huh? super. There we go. Huh? Okay. And right away disengage. Good boy. So a horse that gets tight from the cinch and gets ready to walk is going to arch the back, brace the hind legs. And this is why if you softly disengage your horse, you can dissipate this brace in the horse's torso and hindquarters. Because when you ask the horse to bend, the horse has, is going to loosen the brace and the muscles on one side. Uh -huh. Good boy. Watch your breathing. You breathe out. Cinch a bit. 
Let's just cinch a little bit more, not tight. Yes, okay. Now we got a bit worried. Give him a moment. Yep. Ask for forward movement. And right away turn into a disengage. Yep. Good boy. Very nice. That was very nice. Well, good guy. Okay. Cinch up again a bit. Watch the breathing. So I'm not going to cinch up hard enough today to actually get on. This is something I do in stages. Every session is just cinch a little bit more. I just cinch up enough that when he canters, it won't slide backwards. It won't slide left or right. Yeah. Disengage. Yep, shoulder, yes. Yep. Good boy, yes, you're very good. Huh? You're a really good guy. So, now the next step is, yep, if you send him out, but just half a circle, Disengage. Ask him to back up two steps. And wait. Yes. Good. So what often can, what can happen if you just send the horse out and let him trot and canter? Um, if the horse has a certain amount of innate buck in there, with each each lap the horse gets more tight and can collect worry. And the horse might start out fine, but then after two or three laps, suddenly bursts into bucking. And by starting out, sending the horse half a lap, disengage, back up two steps, pause, I can effectively set the horse up for success and interrupt the eventual cycle of tension. Uh, as it emerges. Yo, good boy. Huh? Yes, there. Yep. Send off. Good boy. Disengage. Back off. Good boy, very nice. Huh? Yep. So, my stick. And do the same with the trot. Yep. Just short. Disengage. And when I see that disengage doesn't work as well as just before. Then I know he has been a little bit tight and tensed. Yep. So I will keep working on this until I can disengage really softly. Yep. Yep. Good boy. And disengage. Good boy. Yes, there's a leak and chew. Send off. Yep. Good boy. Better. Very nice. Huh? Good boy. Yeah. Yep. Good boy. And disengage. 
back off. Good boy. Yes. Uh -huh. Trot. Good boy. And disengage. Very nice. That was good. Very good. Yes. Good guy. Yes, you're such a good boy, huh? Yes. So now I could send it a trot, disengage softly, both sides. Good boy. I'm gonna let him now at liberty and see if he can trot and canter around here. Good boy. Yep. Yep. So I want to avoid bucking, even when cinching up the first time as much as possible because ultimately a horse that box does not feel well <laughs> and uh, it is possible to introduce a cinch in a way uh, that the horse does not need to feel, feel the need to buck or at least that the risk of bucking is really minimized by breaking things down little steps good boy and going gradual Good boy. Yes. Huh? So I just had him trot two laps at first, give him the sensation. Good guy. Huh? Yes. Okay, it's tight enough. Good guy. Also here, whenever you turn him out loose to go around the round bin. I don't ask him to go cantering right away. I don't chase him off because it would probably provoke the barking. I do it in stages. First trot, give him the sensation, see if he can be good. I'm watching especially his back uh, for signs of tension. Does the back, the part of the back behind the pad move? Yes or no? If it doesn't move or is it, if it is even pushed up, I know he feels quite tense about the cinch. Good boy, yes, good, well, he is pretty good. Just looks at the outside because he's less confident on the right. He would like to have me on his left eye. Good guy, huh? Yes, there is something on you. <laughs> good boy. <coughs> so if he gets excited, just don't want him so close. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we're going to check canter. First, we're going to let him trot because he's just been upset about his friend. Remember his friend? And yeah. good boy. Keep thinking forward until he can relax. Not chase him, but kind of push the bubble. There, good boy. Trot. And. Yep. Good boy. Good boy. Drive him one lap. Yep. Push the bubble. Release. Good. Keep going. Let the trot. And call him back. Good boy. Yes. Very good. Yeah. You did good. Good boy. No? Yes. 
the Gendner horse used to the singe can of course also be split over several sessions. You don't need to have the horse canned in the first session with the singe, of course not. You can just, you know, have a horse carry it at the end of the session, be that the walk, repeat that a few times. Oh, good boy. Yep. And, yep. Right. Good. He just reacted a little bit to the outside Latigo. Just want to make sure before I ask Canter. He's good at the trot. And, yep. Good boy. Super. Go for a few transitions. Good boy. Good boy. Good guy. Come. Good boy. And push the lap. Come. Push the bubble. Lower the energy and intention. And call back. Good guy, super, very nice. Good boy, yes, big lick and chew, huh? Oh boy. But yes, thank you very much. Good guy, huh? Yeah, you did very good. Very good. Well, we put the halter back on. And I'm going to practice light reflection, high quality disengage, two, two a feel to simulate my rein and leg aids. With this book. Just reconnect and then finish with the mounting block. Good boy. Huh? Stupid spook from behind, huh? Good boy. Huh? Yes. Good guy. So he can't stay connected. I'm gonna give him a choice. Either we're gonna work or relax here in the middle. Yep. Good boy. Yes. Super. Aye. Good boy. Good guy. Huh? It's okay. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, it's okay to leave. Good boy. Yes, there is a lick and chew. The last two times he came in without lick and chew. Good guy. Uh -huh. okay. no. Can you put your head into the holder? Yes. <laughs> start with asking for light reflection. It's gonna be my brakes and my means to yeah connect to him once I'm on his back. But he can see me, checks me out. Uh -huh. I'm going to go in the position of my pad, run down the rope and really lead it out to the side, give it a little feel. Yes, I want you to really look at me. 
not just mechanically follow the feel, but really check in with me. Good. Good boy. And turn this into hind quarter disengage. Good boy. Drop to stop. Good boy. Yes, very good. Huh? You obviously already know this. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, drop to stop. Get in position. Oh. There we go. Yes. So I really want his attention on me. That is very important with this exercise. Not just about that the horse gives to the feel of the holder. Yes, of course it is. I want to have a horse that's soft to the feel of the reins. But lateral flexion is not just about following the field, it's about connecting. Good. Yes, come. Here it does not connect, it yielded. Yes, there he connects. Good. Good. I just made sure it would not run over me in this moment of being upset. It would still see me. Good boy. Oh. Just wait until he can stop. I have no intent for him to move. Good boy. Rub him. Good. Good guy. Good boy. Just stick with him. until he finds flexion and stance and relaxation. Good boy. Good. Fly on his bum. Not with your shoulder next to me. Good boy. Good boy. You can relax. Good boy, that's what I'm thinking inside. I'm not thinking, don't move, stand still. I'm thinking, you can relax. Good boy. There, good guy. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Good boy. We just keep searching for this. Good boy. Come huh? forward. You're almost stuck on the fence. Yep. <coughs> he needs to move. All right. So we can ask a good question at the wrong moment. <laughs> and if I notice, okay, his tension level goes up, and he just can't stand still, he needs to move. Then it would be a wrong question to keep asking lateral flexion. Yeah, good boy. Don't crowd me. Good boy. Okay, let's try again. When I ask lateral flexion, I don't want him to step with his inside shoulder towards me. Yes, good boy there. Yep. Also don't want him to suck back. I'll check. Disengage again. Uh -uh. Yes. Remember, keep stepping away with your shoulder from me. Because you're big and black. I'm a small human. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Yes. Super. <sighs> Breathe out. Good boy. Rub to stop. Good guy. Huh? Almost. Good boy. Good guy. Good guy.
Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Huh? Very good boy. There we go. Huh? So sometimes it takes a while for the horse to find a solution and to find relaxation in this. Good boy, there we go. Huh? This, this is literally my safety belt when riding a young horse. I need to have this lateral, lateral flexion really solid. Good boy. The horse really associated with connecting and relaxing. Good boy. Yes, very nice. Super. Okay, huh? so I'm going to finish off the session with introducing the mounting block. It's a really nice way to finish the session. Um, just uh, that the horse kind of really falls in love with the mounting block. Huh? Just associate with a place to chill, hang out, receive cuddles. Step up. Good boy. Huh? So with this, the horse well learns to like the mounting block. The horse gets comfortable with the human in the higher position, seeing the human above him. Yeah, good boy, huh? And I can get him used to the sensations of the rider. Good guy, huh? And I just ask him to come here, step closer. I ask him to come forward when he is here I rub him <laughs> and yes now he's not in position but this is not the focus of this first time in the mountain block focus is just that he relaxes next to the mountain block hmm? and often at first the horse will not be confident with a human in a higher position no? Oh, the horse will only be confident with the human in a higher position next to the neck, but not yet in the saddle area. Yes, huh? But as the horse's confidence grows, yeah, the horse will slowly accept in the correct position. Yes. Good boy. And then when he's kind of in the correct position, uh, well, except to stand still next to the block, in whatever position, I'm gonna just give him scratches, hang out. I make sure my energy is really relaxed and welcoming. Good boy. There's one reason why horses don't want to stand next to the mounting block is because the human stands up there full of tension on the mounting block and only thinking about making the horse stand still so you can get on and get on with your lesson. And then, you, well, horses do not like to stand next to humans who are all tight and tensed. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes, there's an itchy spot. And you take a moment to find itchy spots. And see, here, by accident, he put me in the right position. Huh? So I can start to explore. Will he be confident to touch here on the right flank? To prepare him for my leg. Huh? And I touch him everywhere here, leaning over the back. And come back to my itchy spot. <laughs> yes. Good boy, huh? Yes. So he's going to associate the mounting block now with... Oh, this is where I get the best bomb scratches ever. Mm -hmm. Not, oh my God, once my human, human gets up there, he's suddenly really tense and tight and impatient. And I really don't like to stand still next to a human like this. You want him to think like... Oh, human up there, that means you're gonna chill, relax, and they get really nice scratches. Huh? Yes, you're a good boy. Uh -huh. Super. I can check. What does he say for making a bit of noise here? A bit skeptical, it's okay. Uh -huh. Just expose him a little bit. A few times in a row. Good boy, huh? Good 
Good boy. Yeah, good guy, huh? Yeah, good boy. Super. Okay. Mm, that's a nice end of the session. All nice and chill. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave him on this. I'm going to bring him back. I think this session brought a lot of progress. Um, so if you have any questions to this session, please feel free to ask. No, nope, don't walk off. Otherwise, see you in the next session. It's okay. And we go now, huh? Watch out. There's a block between your feet. Yeah? Okay. I'm too cute.